Hi everybody, welcome to the another video from the Bombay Engineering Works. This is the auto cutter, 36 inches. You can see it in our factory. Auto cutter, 36 inches, suitable to coat tablets from 50 kg to 80 kg. This is the front view glass. Normally, everybody gives a very small view glass, whereas you can see that we give a complete full viewing glass. Autocoder 36 consists of three spray guns, a completely PLC operated control panel with touchscreen HMI. Below you can see is a peristatic pump and above that are the uh, control valves to adjust the pneumatic pressure of each spray gun. This is a side view. For maintenance you can open this and bottom door is for the WIP system maintenance. The PLC has got auto and manual modes. You can run the machine in auto mode and manual mode. On the top of the auto cutter, you can see the two dampers. They are the automatic inlet and outlet dampers, pneumatically actuated. This is the power panel. This is the back side where the motor gearbox and the change sprocket drive is placed inside. This is the WIP pump outlet. You can see the dampers are pneumatically actuated, inlet and outlet. The inlet is attached to the AHU and the outlet is attached to an exhaust blower and a wet scrubber. This is a solution vessel. The solution is put inside this wet vessel and on the top of it there is a pneumatic stirrer. This is a pneumatic stirrer you can see. The vessel has a conical bottom so that it gets a zero discharge. Now you can see the person is opening the, this is the full viewing glass. So you can see completely what is going on. On the top of the auto cutter there is a light glass so that Internal is illuminated and you can see the process while it is on. The spray gun assembly is opened pneumatically just by operating the PLC. And you can see there are three spray guns. Spray guns are of spray tech, spraying systems, devil bliss, make. These are the four port anti bidding guns so that there is no dripping once the coating is over. You can see there are four ports inside the gun. Normally many people they give only three ports because that is cheaper. These are the, this is the internal pen with baffles, rabbit ear baffles. Different types of baffles are available like shark fins, the straight baffle curved baffles and you can see at the center there is a sensor this is a, for the bed temperature sensing this is inbuilt in our auto cutters most of the other suppliers they charge extra for the bed temperature sensor in ours it is a standard feature which is inbuilt the rpm can be varied from 2 rpm to 13 rpm with the help of variable speed drive for the pen we also give variable speed drive for the supply blower and also variable speed drive for the exhaust blower. So you can control every cycle as per your requirements. The tablets are put inside this pen and as the pen rotates, the temperature is achieved and spraying takes place. The tablets tumble on the baffles, and the coating takes place.
these are the spray guns you can rotate it 180 degrees for maintenance and all you can see the spraying right now water is being sprayed and there is a separate flow control valve given for each spray gun so that you can control the spraying for each spray gun as and when required depending on the batch size you have put inside the pen sometimes if the batch size is low many people use only two guns so you can adjust the flow you can stop any flow from any gun door opening is pneumatic the silicon tube is from the solution tank to the peristaltic pump and from the peristaltic pump to the spray guns the door is airtight so that the outside air doesn't enter the cotter auto cotters are available in many different sizes starting from r&d model 12 inches then 15 inches 18 inches 30 24 inches 36 inches 48 inches 60 inches 66 inches and 72 inches these are view from outside the peristaltic pump normally is given single head or depending on the number of spray guns a multi head peristaltic pump is provided for example for 36 auto cutter three head peristaltic pump is given for 48 auto cutter four head is given this is the wet scrubber and on side of it it is an exhaust blower at present they are just kept aside because there is no ducting done in our factory the outlet of the auto cutter is connected to the wet scrubber and the exhaust blower this is a pump given for the water circulation so that there is a sprinkler system inside the wet scrubber for the water so that the fumes of the auto cutter get neutralized and do not enter the atmosphere the wet scrubber consists of two tanks they are interconnected with all the pipeline pumps and valves this is the exhaust blower exhaust blower is a centrifugal blower which is mounted on the service area and connected from the exhaust ducting of the auto cutter this is the inlet ahu a double screened inlet ahu with internals of SS three zero four or three one six as required. It consists of a pre filter, then an inlet blower. Inlet blower is of an imported make. Then there will be a microwave filter. Then either electrical heaters or a steam coil, followed by zero point three microns HEPA filter. On the top of it, you can see the validation ports given to check the filters. service doors are provided on one side this is the inlet coarse blower and you can see the steam coil inlet and outlet pipes coming out this is a steam heated ahu ahu is normally placed